Mavericks guard Kyrie Irving shared a rare sneak peek inside his post-ACL rehab, showing key phases of his recovery. Let's break this down. After a torn ACL surgery, it involves harvesting a portion of the patella, hamstring, or Achilles tendon to create a graft that can be used as a replacement for the ACL. The damaged ligament is then removed and holes are drilled into the tibia and femur, through which the graft will be passed. Then the graft is positioned and secured using screws and staples. Immediately after surgery, we see Kyrie knee in full extension. He's likely wearing a hinged knee brace here that is locked at zero degrees. It's common to keep it at this position during the initial rehab phase, including during walking and sleep. This protects the graft and supports minimizing full knee extension loss, which might be the strongest predictor of long-term complications. In the first week, rehab can start as early as 24 to 48 hours after surgery with active passive knee range of motion exercises. These set the foundation for long-term joint function and prevent arthrofibrosis, aka scar tissue formation. ACL surgery also suppresses voluntary quad activation. Therefore, active quadricep contraction with superior patellar glide is essential to prevent adhesions, reestablish quad control, and preserve patellar mobility. We see Kyrie getting neuromuscular electrical stimulation, which also helps to counter the rapid quadricep shutdown. Wound care includes dressing changes, suture care, and inspection for signs of infection. Prone knee extensions let the foot hang off of the end of the bed or table. Doing these about three to four times a day allows for gravity to gently extend that knee. Once active and passive range of motion can flex and extend between zero and 90 degrees with active quad contraction, Kyrie will progress to phase two of the rehab. In the next phase, athletes progress to walking without crutches with full knee extension. Sutures are usually taken out anywhere from 10 to 14 days if there's no complications. Use of stationary bicycles or stairmasters is also incorporated. Here's Irving performing an unassisted sit to stand, aka closed chain weight bearing activities. Once the athlete achieves knee flexion greater than 100 degrees, they can move into the intermediate post-operative phase. This is where balance and proprioception training begins. Resistance band exercises with low load hip focused movements that progress towards dynamic control drills are introduced. Kai is also hitting double leg calf raises, which do help to unload the ACL. As the knee becomes more mobile and the quadriceps regain strength, Partial lunges are introduced. These cryo compression devices can be used throughout the rehab. There is evidence that they control pain and swelling, improve comfort, and support early mobility and quad activation, all of which contribute to faster and safer rehab progression. Pretty awesome that Uncle Drew shared some of his rehab with us and very excited to see him come back next year, wishing him a safe and speedy recovery.